Hey, Kelly, you really have to feel for our volunteer fire departments out there mm -hmm. because they can't hold their Friday night bingos, they can't hold their carnivals this year, and when they, these are their big fundraisers, but we have a story tonight about a volunteer fire company that is turning to the community to support after a crash caused a lot of damage to their already aging fire engine. So they're out there fundraising, trying to get a new one. And WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us now from Randallstown to explain how you can help out. The Liberty Road Volunteer Fire Company understands it's not going to happen overnight. Their goal is to raise enough money by the end of the year to replace their aging fire engine so they can serve their community to the best of their ability. We want something that's completely reliable and we're long overdue for something like that. The Liberty Road Volunteer Fire Company was already in the process of trying to raise enough money to replace their 28-year-old fire engine when someone hit it with their car earlier this year. The person that was trying to illegally pass the fire engine when it has its emergency warning devices on. Station Chief Bernard Jones says the engine is getting fixed right now. The damage, over $30,000 worth. One of the air horns blew out of the front bumper. The air system that controls the braking, the horns, um, and some of the safety devices, that was actually damaged as well. In the meantime, they're using an engine on loan from the Baltimore County Fire Department. It meets their basic needs, but they're trying to raise enough money to get a new one. Because of our uh, personnel, numbers have been increasing, our response statistics have been increasing, so more wear and tear on a 28-year-old fire engine really puts uh, additional strain and it makes it a little bit less reliable. For them, the reliability and the extra features on a new engine are key. Our overall goal is to give the best service we can possibly give to our community. And with a 28-year-old fire engine, the likelihood of reliability going downhill is rather uh, imminent, we would say. The price tag for a new one could be up to $800,000. Especially because of COVID, they know it's going to be a long process. And we're going to probably have to stretch this out over the course of a year because there's people out there who haven't even gone to work. And I don't really want to stress my community in that way. We have a link to the GoFundMe on our website, WMAR2News.com. In Randallstown, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2News.